general psychology. Um, I remember my teacher, her name was Cinnamon Brown, which I always thought was funny, but she was just a very happy, bubbly person, and that probably contributed to me liking the class. But then we got into the material, and it was like, this is actually the study of people. And, you know, up until then, I really liked biology, I thought it was cool, but I didn't want to study, you know, something in a worm for the rest of my life. And so, when I started looking at some of our material and reading about it, I was really interested. Like, this is actually the study of people, which was much more interesting to me. From then on, I was like, I need to take more psychology classes. Mm -hmm. um, but I also knew I didn't want to go into, like, counseling or something. Um, and counseling, usually, I think, is like a two-year program coming out of um, school, two-year or three-year. And so, as I kind of went through my undergrad, I got to probably my sophomore year, and I was just like, well, what am I going to do after this? And in psychology, the jobs are pretty limited if you just go straight from undergrad. Mm -hmm. um, and so I decided, well, I should probably look into grad schools. And it seemed like a good idea. And then I found some programs that I wanted to apply to. I found the professor I wanted to work with, and then I went with it. Because, you know, you can get into a school for whatever you want to do. But if the person and the research that you're going to work with for the next four or five years is not what you want to do, then it's really discouraging. You want to find something that you like right off the bat and be able to kind of pursue that. Mm -hmm. Three basic duties are to complete my coursework. Mm -hmm. um, the courses in grad school are more advanced. Uh, their homework is a little bit more difficult and it's kind of like, here's what we want you to do. Now you figure it out. Um, and then teaching. Uh, I'm a TA. Uh, when I went for my master's, I was actually a lab TA, so I taught a lab with 10 to 20 students. And then here, what I do is actually I'm a lecture TA, uh, and I sit in a lecture and I help answer emails and answer questions and administer exams and grade those exams, but they also have lab TAs here. And then the other, the biggest part of what I do is research. So I work with an advisor and we kind of design studies or collect data or inherit data from other sources mm -hmm. and then analyze them, uh, kind of find things that are interesting in the field of psychology. and try to write articles and publish those findings. It's kind of like everything. There's a pro and a con. There's a flip side of the coin. Um, I like the work I do. I dislike that sometimes it rules my life. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and you have to work really hard and make time for yourself. Otherwise you might go crazy um, because you do a lot of work. If you take a class that you think is interesting, I would talk to the professor and talk about things you can do if you actually went into that field. Um, quantitative psychology, statistics, anything, I would never have known you could actually make a career out of that unless I went and talked to my professor and just kind of asked questions about the field. Um, and you know, when I did talk to him, he kind of developed a relationship with me, became my mentor, and actually helped me to like write letters of recommendation and kind of help me on my path into this field. Um, so I would just take a lot of classes, you know, play around. Poke at biology, poke at psychology, poke at math, poke at everything. And then if there's something you like, just kind of pursue it. Um, if there's multiple things you like, pursue them all. <laughs>